In this video, we are going to walk through how to create a new email marketing campaign, add a new list of recipients for your campaign, set goals for the campaign, and take a look at all the customization options for your email. To start, from the dashboard view, head on over to the rocket ship icon to have the marketing suite fly out. Navigate down to the email marketing option and click on the email marketing tool. Now at the top right, you will see a create campaign button. Click that to open up the campaign creator. You will enter a campaign name in the pop-up. After you enter that, you will have three areas to set up. The first is the settings of the campaign. Click start to jump into that section. In the basic settings, you are going to select a campaign type and target. You have two options for goal setting, either a clicks focus or an opens focus. The goal of opens is going to track how many people open the email. Clicks is going to track how many people are opening the email and clicking on links within the email. From there, you will want to set a target you are aiming for. You will see the little info icon that can help give some context on what is considered good for example, a 30% open rate is a good baseline, and a 1% click-through rate is a good baseline. From there, you will want to add a subject line and preview text, and you can see how those will show up based on the image over to the right. After that, you need to select an email that will receive replies from the templates. The emails on this list are pulling from the users that are set up in Scorpion. Lastly, select a location that will be displayed at the footer of the email template. And if you want to use a call tracking number in the footer of the emails to track and analyze any leads generated from your campaign, click the call tracking button. We highly recommend you do this to account for your email campaigns to ensure that you have proper tracking set up to know when you are getting leads from your email campaigns. Once you have that completed, click save and move on to step two, building your email campaign. Once you click start, you will be taken to a series of pre-built templates. Choose the one you want to start and click select to jump into the editor. Now, right when you jump in, it is easier than it looks to masterfully create your email. First, at the top, you will see the ability to toggle between the desktop view and what it will look like on a mobile device. As you hover over the email, you will see the different sections be illuminated as you are hovering over them. Any text that you see can easily be edited by simply clicking into the box and changing the text. When you click on any of the sections, you will see the properties panel on the right adjust to the panel you have selected. In that panel, you'll be able to edit the properties and other aspects of that section to your liking. You can add links to the buttons, adjust spacing, add images, and more. If you want to add in additional sections to your email, Simply click over the Rows tab in the Properties panel, and you will see a series of pre-built sections that you can add into the email that you are building. Drag and drop it into the area you want it added, and click on the different elements to adjust them, such as adding in photos, changing button text, color, font sizes, alignment, and more. Next to the Rows tab is the Settings tab. This tab is going to take you to the general settings for the template as a whole, giving you the ability to adjust the email width, colors, alignment, and font for the whole email. Lastly, in the upper left by the campaign name, if you want to preview how the email will look, simply hit the I to go into preview mode. If you want to send a test email, just click the paper airplane icon, enter in your email address, and click send. Once you are done, click save, in the upper right hand corner. The last part of setting up your email campaign is to add a list of recipients. In order to do this, you will need to create a list. Click the start button. You will be taken to the contact list page. If you have already created a list, you could simply select it from the drop down. When you select the list, you will see the names populate in the list and have the option to remove any that you choose. Now, if you don't have a list created, you will need to create one. Do this by clicking on the Go to Contacts page. From there, click Add New List. Put a name for your list, click Create, and then click Add Contacts. You will have three options. Add a single contact, add existing contacts, and import a CSV file. Now, adding a single contact will just ask for the name 
last name, and email address of the customer. If you select Add Existing Contacts, you could select from customers that you have tracked as leads through your marketing efforts at Scorpium. If you are bulk uploading a list, you will want to download the template, input the information, then upload it to Scorpion Drive, then you can select it to import it into your list. Once you import your list and select it for your email blast, you'll be able to schedule a date and time for the blast to go out by clicking the schedule button at the top right corner. Now, if there are any missing pieces of your setup, you will see those called out for you to fix before scheduling the email blast. Scorpion takes care of making sure your business is always putting its best foot forward with email, ensuring there are no missing links or incorrect content. After you schedule your email blast, you are ready to watch the performance after it sends. If you have any questions or need additional support, don't hesitate to reach out to us through the help section of Scorpion down at the help icon.